Hey guys, so today I have a really quick video, but I just wanted to tell you how I took um, my lip clips and made them all, um, put them in a palette. These are all of my lip clips that I kept in my kit and it was very hard for me um, transporting these lip clips and in my kit and then every time I would take them to the salon, I would have to open each and every one or look at the bottom and see the name and it just was a lot more hassle so um, I decided to put it in a palette like this one here. This is just a jewelry palette. I'm trying to take this off. I need some goo gone. But um, this is just a jewelry palette, jewelry um, storage where you put like little beads and stuff that I got at Michael's. It was like $4.99 I think or $5.99. Um, very inexpensive but it's just a little tin. It came with these, it came with 12 um, tin little bin containers, which are these here. I depotted the lips clicks and put them in there so they look like this. I don't want any to fall. Uh, and right now Mark only has 12 lip clicks out so these are the 12. And they're really... Um, really really easy now for me to just see which one I need and go for that one on my client um, and then put it on her. Let me show you one individual one and this one is 2-2. It looks like this. It looks like it's in a ba uh, bomb jar and the little top comes off. It comes off rather quickly. I don't suggest throwing this in your bag and then taking this go to go because the jar comes off really quickly and you could have lipstick in your bag. I just really recommend this for um, keeping these in your palette and not really um, like removing, taking these out because like I said, the jar, the top comes off. I was able to put the name, um, just peel the name from the lip click and place it on there. So that one's 2-2. Two, two. If you want to see um, names of all of these, um, I do have a lip swatch it, lip click swatches video. You can check that one out because I swatched each one of them. Be careful not to burn yourself. I burned myself on my hand. Where's it at? Right, right there. I did burn myself, so be very careful. Please don't burn yourselves. It's all very hot. You're dealing with fire, so... Ouch. <laughs> You'll need a lighter or a candle. I'm using two lighters and I'll show you why later. So I got two lighters. You won't need that. Two lighters. You need a spoon. You need a little spatula. This came out of a manicure set in case you're wondering where I got this from. And of course um, your lip clicks or your lipsticks. And um, yeah, you can... Um, Take the sticker off of the lip click and put it on the back of the tin or you can just use a permanent marker and write what which one it was. Okay, so I'm going to take another lipstick from here. This one is hot and spicy. It's nice and dark. I'm going to remove the top <clears throat> and remove this top. And then this is the lipstick here place my spoon and I place a napkin so that um, if anything spills it will spill on the napkin and just cut the um, lipstick Let's see if I can get this better angle just cut the lipstick like that place it on your spoon and there's always some more lipstick in the top so just do this like this just push it out so that should be all of it. Now you can get a candle. I'm just going to place this right here and this little spatula right on top of it. Oop, okay, or leave it there. I feel like this is going to get messy. Now you can take um, your lighter and light the bottom of the spoon. Um, just place the lighter down here and light the bottom of the spoon tip of the lighter gets very hot, this right here, so every time you go to um, turn it on again, this is hot. The bottom of the spoon will be hot, the lipstick um, here will be hot, the tin will be hot, and the bottom of the tin definitely will be hot. So um, be careful, don't burn yourself, and um, 
All right, let's go. Do this like this. And you'll see the lipstick um, melting. You don't have to get as close as I do. Um, you can go a little higher. I'm just getting it close to be in the frame of the picture. So now this went out because of the ceiling fan, but this is hot, so I'm not going to touch it. I'm going to get the other lighter and just use that. That's the reason why I have two lighters, um, just in case you wanted to know. And I can't pull it down to show you, but it's definitely melting. It takes usually just about a minute or so, and it doesn't take very long for it to um, harden either. Okay, so I'm going to place a little bit on the in the tin, just because the spoon is filling up. And I'm just going to do it like that. Okay. These lipsticks, um, when you put them on, they taste like mint. And now that it's burning, it definitely smells like mint. <laughs> okay, and now I'm going to place the rest just like that. Now I'm going to take the little spatula and just push some of the product down. You do lose some product doing this because a lot stays on the spoon, but Try to push as much and as much down as you can. Now I'm going to go um, rinse the spoon and the spatula and be right back. Okay, so your spoon, once it's clean, it might get a little dark here where the most of the um, flame was at. So um, please don't use your nice spoons. This is just kind of an older spoon, so I don't mind if it gets messed up. Okay, so I'm just going to top this and take the label. This is... It's already cooling, and as you can see, there's the product. So I'm going to take the label from here. So the sticker just comes off like this, and you just place it right on the bottom of your canister. So I've already done three, and I've been doing this at maybe 30 minutes. So um, I'm going to do the rest, and then I'll be back. Okay, so I just finished the last one, which is um, Ruffle. And this is probably my least favorite Mark lip click, but I wanted to have them all, so that's Ruffle right there. And this is the kit, all done. So I hope you learned a little bit on how to make your own lip palette or any type of palette really just, um, there's just different ways of burning the product in there. Thanks so much for watching guys, and I will talk to you all very soon. Bye.